Hey everyone, I've got my hands on the hottest weights for a home gym and for P90X, the Bowflex Select Tech 552s and 1090s. On the left you can see the 552s which range from 5 to 52 pounds and on the right the 1090s which range from 5 to 90 pounds in each hand. In this review I'm going to show you some of the downsides that other reviewers haven't shown and some of the things I wish I had known before buying them. I'm also going to show you how they perform working out. So these weights receive a lot of great reviews from people who buy them and they're highly rated on Amazon but I'm gonna try to give you more of a balanced review. So brand new these are pretty expensive so for those of you who are tight on cash I'm also going to show you a low budget alternative at the end of the video so do not miss it. Here you can see the two weights side by side the 1090s are larger but uh, not as large as I thought they would be. Now I've used these for about two months now while working out and I've run into a few situations that I'll share with you but this review will be uh, focused mostly on P90X. So let's talk about why these are great. First of all they save on space and if you had to buy all of the weights individually from 5 to 52 pounds you'd need a whole weight rack. Second they're easy and fast to adjust from a low weight to a higher weight this is key when you're doing P90X because of how quickly you switch from exercise to exercise. Now there are other adjustable weights on the market which I've tried um, and, but I thought they were awkward to hold and to use which leads me to the third great thing about them they're shaped like a traditional dumbbell. So if you're used to working out at the gym you'll feel right at home with these. And as you can see their design is elegant unlike some of the others on the market. So I like how they slide in and out of the, of the base just real easy to use you can tell that they were designed well. Here I'm holding the 552's and the 1090's side by side uh, the 1090's being on the left. So what surprised me was that the 1090's were not that much larger than the 552's. They're definitely fitting a lot more weight into a smaller space. Here I'm doing a shoulder press and as you can see when I go up they actually touch and bump together uh, not a big deal. I think you can work around it. But uh, let's take a look at a more traditional curl. No problems really here on this curl. It's a full supination curl where I'm twisting them outwards. Um, no complaints. Here I'm doing another shoulder exercise. And as I'm pulling them up, they're actually bumping together, which almost makes it feel more like a barbell um, lift. But again, if you, if you keep your arms apart, you can work around it. Um, not that big of a deal. Let's take a look at the cases. Um, I like the cases. This gray one comes with the 552s. It's uh, reinforced plastic of some sort. And then this black one comes with the uh, 1090s. So pretty similar. So here I'm doing a concentration curl. And you can see that both of them are touching when I come to the top. Uh, and sometimes at the bottom as well. Not a big deal, but each bicep isn't really being isolated like it should be. For shoulder shrugs, uh, they work just fine. They're actually not even resting on my legs, and they feel just like a dumbbell that you'd use at a, at a gym. Where I ran into my first big limitation was doing a, um, a bench press, which I'll show you here. Um, when you when you get to the top, they're so wide that you can't actually uh, reach inward to really work the inward part of the pectoral muscle. So you can actually turn them inward, and I'll show you that here as an alternative, as a workaround, to get them closer together and work the inner part of the chest. So the second major drawback to these is you really need the stand to go with them because if you're bending over to pick them up off the floor all the time, you'll easily hurt your lower back. It happened to me several times when using the 552s, so when I upgraded to the 1090s, I got the stand. Now, the stand is an extra $150. It's a great stand. It's built well, but the extra cost on top of it is a sizable investment. Here I just want to point out the different grips on the 552s and the 1090s. The 552 has that grip 
with the black rubber piece and it's actually round I love the grip on the 552 the 1090s grip is actually square and it's rough it has some texture to it which I guess uh, I assume they they made it that way so that it doesn't slip out of your hand but you can't really hold it barehanded it, it digs into your hand quite a bit and can be painful so uh, one of the drawbacks to the 1090s specifically is you, you probably need a set of workout gloves which will protect the skin. But the handle on the 10, on the 552s is excellent. In summary, let's take a look at the pros. First of all, they save a lot of space. They're fast, they're easy to switch weight, they're elegant in their design, and they're cheaper than buying individual dumbbells. Let's take a look at the drawbacks. First of all, they're expensive brand new. 400 for the 552s, 600 for the 1090s. I think they require a stand which adds more cost. They're wide in their design and the 1090s grip is rough. So you most likely need gloves. So my conclusion, the wide doesn't really hold you back. A few adjustments make them perfect, perfectly fine for P90X. At full price they are recommended but there are cheaper alternatives. If you can get them used or on sale, I think they're a must have. I'm happy with my purchase. I use them all the time in P90X. They, they've been pretty great with the few drawbacks, but overall, I'd buy them again. So thanks for watching the review, and as promised, um, I am including a low-cost alternative. So enjoy. Thanks. Hey, babe. I think I've outgrown my adjustable weight set. Why don't you try those new Bowflex? I hear they're great. Well, I've got another idea. got my own adjustable weight set. <laughs>